And thanks for watching. I'm Mike Tank. Dana has the day off. According to the Indiana Donor Network, every nine minutes a person is added to the national transplant waiting list. This fall, a Clay County man named Thad Burdett became one of those people, and now he is facing a three to five year wait for a kidney. Nicole Christine met Thad and his wife Brandy recently to find out more about their mission to educate others and remain hopeful in their own fight. When Thad Burdett was told he was in stage three kidney failure this past spring, he and his wife Brandy were not expecting any serious life changes. Doctors felt very confident that dialysis was nowhere in the future. Any problems were, if they were ever going to be, were far down the road. Thad made the decision to retire early, but his health was not improving throughout the summer. And then one day in early October, we had come home from uh, running some errands, and I was working in the kitchen, and I heard him fall. The fall led to testing, which led to a phone call from Thad's kidney doctor with a dire message. His kidneys had completely shut down. He said, you need to be at the hospital immediately. He's in danger of his heart stopping, and things are not good. Thad was touch and go during that hospital stay, even coding a few times, but was able to recover enough to come home, where the Burdettes now are processing an end-stage renal failure diagnosis. There's been a lot of life changes. Um, we can't be in crowds of people. We've got to work a little extra harder at keeping the flu and COVID away. Um, we've had to give up going to our grandson's indoor sports events and school events. Thad is embarking on home dialysis treatments, which take up nine to ten hours of his day, and the search is on for a kidney donor. Brandy has turned to social media to share her husband's story, as the couple makes it their mission not only to find Thad a kidney, but also to educate others on the transplant process and how easy it is to look into becoming a donor. It starts with going to a lab in your own community, the costs are paid for for you. It is, involves a urine collection and blood draws, and that's the first step. The couple says they've received support from countless people and are thankful for the stories of others who have been through similar trials. We got people even from uh, Brooklyn, New York, uh, in, in contact with, with Brandy. And yeah, it, it's awesome. You know, um, I think without the uh, social media, I, I'd just be sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Instead, the Burdettes are fighting to find a donor and also fighting to spread the word to stay on top of your health. If you have any issues, get checked out as quickly as possible. You know, I, I waited too long, you know, to get, to get checked out. And, and that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. I see young people as well as old people at the uh, center where I have my dialysis mm -hmm. and so um, it's not worth waiting. But despite Thad's diagnosis, the couple remains hopeful with Brandy beside her beloved husband every step of the way. I've been very fortunate to have my wife uh, be my main advocate, my, my, my coach. You know, it was without her, I probably wouldn't be here. Great couple there. Uh, Brandy said that while she is not a donor match for Thad, she has plans to go through the process to donate to someone else, which in turn will move Thad onto the living donor list. There are so many aspects to the transplant process the couple shared, and you can hear more insight from them uh, just by viewing this full story, and we encourage you to do that on our website, mywabashvalley.com.